There we go. Now I feel like I'm too high to drive. Anyways, it is afternoon, so good afternoon. It is 1.30 in the afternoon. My hair keeps sticking to me because we have so much static because the air is dry. So anyway, I just came into the town here so I could get something at Ulta for my hair and they don't carry it. So I came out empty handed and now I'm going to run to Home Depot and I am going to buy the stuff for up here because I can't look at it anymore. I had a um, carpenter guy that was supposed to come over and work on it yesterday and he canceled. He said that he wasn't feeling well, but he didn't say anything about rescheduling. I don't want to keep asking him. Maybe he feels like it's not something that he can do because it's not a house and he doesn't want to have to deal with all of this stuff. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do it myself and save a couple hundred dollars um, and hope that I don't cry in the process. <laughs> but let's head to, uh, let's head to Home Depot <laughs> and see, see if we can uh, find our way around there. gosh I am exhausted and it's only like 55 degrees out but I'm sweating um anyways I got most of the stuff on my list and I didn't I wasn't able to get the guy to cut some of the cuts that I needed because he said that some of them were too close to the edge and he would have to cut two inches off and he said he can't cut two inches off. He can cut something in half, but not two inches off. I'm like, this is Home Depot. Don't you have all of this great technology and these million dollar saws and all of that? So anyway, so um, they did not have flooring that I wanted. I feel like Lowe's is not gonna have the flooring that I want either, but I'm still gonna look because there's one right around the corner. I just have to show you the awesome color of this car. 
Look at that bright blue. I think when I get a bus, I'm gonna paint it that color. Okay, I just need some water. I'm gonna go find Lowe's and I'm gonna look at their flooring. My nose is really irritated. Smelling all that lumber in Home Depot, just, yeah. I got stuff in the back. Hopefully it's not going to slide around too much. We shall see. Okay, let's go to Lowe's. I think I'm gonna get this. I already have this on the kitchen counter. I think I'm gonna get this, I wanna go lighter. Look at these orchids. $20. I really want those. I need a bus. I got... I got the flooring. You can buy them by piece. This is crooked. So I got 15 pieces and... The people in the car in front of me are looking at me like, why are you showing us your flooring? Why is this crooked? There we go. Anyways, I am hot. It is a couple minutes before 4 p.m. I am wiped out and so... I think I'm going to go back and see Sophie and feed her dinner. Ah! I spent, I think, 80 at Home Depot and 30 at Lowe's. So I spent $110 today. I still have a few more things to purchase. Um, I need to get brackets for the shelves and um, a few other things. Anyways, <clears throat> I am going to go relax for a little bit. Hello. It is like five days since I went to Home Depot and got a bunch of material. So I'm still sitting here with all of this exposed. I have talked to the gardener. I have contacted a um, carpenter. He canceled on me last weekend, last minute. Uh, he's supposed to be coming tomorrow, so fingers crossed that he comes because I hurt my arm. It's been hurting me. I don't know what I did. Probably lugging all of this stuff around, all of this wood. Um, I had paneling in the van, that big piece of paneling. And Lisa tried to help me cut it. She even bought a circular saw thing. And we were holding it together, trying to keep it still. And she was like cutting it kind of crooked and so it started messing up the wood and we both decided let's just wait and see if carpenter dude can come out this weekend and so please get here tomorrow morning at nine he's supposed to be here tomorrow morning at nine I'm gonna be very happy if he shows up I'm gonna be even more happier when he gets rid of this on both sides of the van um, I want to get that done. I want to get my step fixed and I'm going to also paint. I got me a little paintbrush. I'm going to also paint my plastic. See my plastic here? Oh, oh, I got my butt on something. This plastic right here. Um, it's gray. I'm going to paint it like a cream color to match my 
um, kitchen because I have leftover paint. I hope that it will work on plastic. It's exterior paint, which I wanted to get exterior paint because quite often I leave the van open. Um, if I'm at a campground, is campground the word? Technically not a campground, but like the group camping things, I will leave it open all day. Um, there's people sitting around. I'm sitting around outside of it. I've got the windows open, whatever. The fan pulling air in. And so I knew that there would be a lot of humidity because you're kind of outside. So, um, so yeah, it's exterior paint. I really did not mean to tell you all that. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, I am really looking forward to Carpenter Dude Man coming tomorrow and getting this done. Please, please, please show up and please just do a neat job, please. Um, he works on houses and I think that he is not thrilled about having to work with this kind of thing. So we shall see. But I'm hoping it gets that taken care of. And then my little step over here so that I can add Sophie stairs. And I need him to make one cut on a piece of wood. Ow. I have this big piece of wood that I had them cut at Home Depot. But then he said, I can't cut it 22 inches. I can only leave it at the 24 inches and I said why and he said because I can't cut off two inches because it's too small of a piece I could cut off more but I can't cut off two and I was like this is Home Depot your saw is probably a five hundred thousand dollar saw machine whatever it is why can't you cut it but I was just like okay that's okay I'll figure it out so I have a cupboard door that is two inches too big. So I'm hoping that Carpenter Dude can cut the two inches off the edge of it with his $30 saw. And, um, and then I'm gonna paint it white and I'm going to put it on my kitchen where my um, curtain used to be. I had a little curtain and then sometimes when I would go around corners, things would fall out. And then also when you're getting in and out stuff underneath the sink especially if you're putting garbage under there or whatever sometimes that um, curtain gets dirty and I just wanted something that I could just clean off every few days just give it a little wipe of something instead of having to deal with a curtain <sighs> my my um, camera just dinged it does that every time something's going on Maybe somebody's walking around outside. A bird. Like a bird flew. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm going to work on. I have shelves that I'm going to put up. On a, I'll show you the whole kitchen. Hopefully, hopefully the next video I can do that. So I've got a little bit of um, insulation also. These, I think, might be too small for the thickness of that cupboard door. So I may have to go back to Home Depot and get some stronger ones. These are two inch. I feel like probably three inch ones would have been better. We shall see. Um, but I'm not going to have him work on the kitchen because I want to do the kitchen. I want that to be my thing. Because I've, I've done it pretty much myself so far. Um, and there's nothing that's too heavy duty. And all I need him to do is make that one little cut that Home Depot dude couldn't do with his half a million dollar saw. So, paint, uh, working on my kitchen, and oh! Also, the day after tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, I did I scare you, Sophie? The day after tomorrow, I have a dude from a window company coming to change out one of my back windows. 
one of my back windows because all of my windows are what are they called static windows or whatever they just don't they don't open and so I bought a window with a screen and the screen is not that big it's a small screen but it will still have airflow so hopefully my very next video will have this stuff fixed and the steps in and the new window and I'm also hopefully going to have all of this painted white and I think that's going to be it because that's enough that's enough things <laughs> I'm going to decorate you know I'm gonna put my flowers and my vines my flowers and vines all over the place and um, some of my art. I have really big art, um, 18 by 24 drawings. I know I've, I've shown some of my smaller drawings on the channel before. I also have some big ones. I think what I'm gonna do is try and get some tiny little, tiny little art printed up so I can have my art with me on the road where I can see it. Um, Anybody who hasn't seen my other video with my art, I do graphite drawings. Sometimes I use charcoal, but that gets messy in the van. So, but just, just, um, pencil and paper. I had to move where I was sitting because my butt was getting sore. I feel like I've been sitting here talking for a while. I apologize. <laughs> I, I feel like this is my therapy that I can sit here and talk about the issues that have been in my mind lately actually no because I have not told you everything there's a lot um, you know there's a lot of there's a lot of things that I'm dealing with um, and I really need to get back on the road and sit by a beach because I'm headed somewhere with a beach I left Florida. I, you know, I really did not spend much time at the beach in Florida. And I should have. Because the beach is very healing. And, you know, listening to the water splash. And hearing the breeze and the trees. And just... It's, it's a very healing environment. And I need to get to a beach and just sit and enjoy watching little waves and water splashing and maybe let Sophie dip her toes in. If I can go someplace that allows dogs, because I know some beaches do not allow dogs on the beach. So, so I'm going to try and sleep some of this anxiety off and tomorrow morning, hopefully this will be a whole new van.